Good morning, happy Vlogmas day 11. I have been cleaning my apartment all morning if you guys saw yesterday's vlog It was kind of like a party vlog. So hopefully that was still enjoyable um, But it was so fun. I, I hosted my first like party pregame here and it was so lovely to see all my friends I'm not hungover, which we love. Um, I really like barely drank I just took a couple of the peppermint and chocolate things and had like half of my drink people loved it It was such a hit. So I'm so happy about that I filmed this morning me cleaning, but my kitchen was literally disgusting. Like, I just don't want to do that to you guys, so I just deleted those clips. So I was like, you know what? I still have a lot to clean. My apartment's still a mess, but like, I was like scraping fire off my counter, like that kind of vibe. And I was like, this isn't like aesthetic Sunday reset. Like, it just wasn't it. So today's exciting. Um, I'm shooting my new planner. I don't know why I keep doing <laughs> spirit makers. Uh, my, I need coffee, I need coffee. I couldn't even like sit down on my couch this morning and relax and have coffee because there was too much happening here. And like yesterday, I, I just like didn't want to do all this when we were leaving. Everyone's like, can we help clean? And I was like, honestly, I will do it in the morning. No worries, no problem. So let me drink out of my recent favorite coffee cup that I got on Etsy. I had to like clean out my fridge. But yeah, so still clearly lots of to clean, but I got some of the dirty work done. Like I swiffered my floor, stuff like that that just needed to be done. But I'm gonna wash my sheets. I'm washing a lot of the towels. Like obviously everyone used my bathroom yesterday. So I want to wash like all the towels in there because you know like when you're in someone else's bathroom like yes I had a hand towel, but I'm sure people were like wiping on my bath towel. You just can't control it Like I mean, I've done it like you just can't control all of it. So I just want to clean it all <laughs> Just reset today's one of those days where I'm very 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 grateful to have a dishwasher and a, a large one too um, to be able to fit everything because all of my cups that I um, like the recyclable cups they like ran out um, not like recyclable, but like they're plastic so I can recycle them. Um, so when those were out, we had to go into my dishes. So that was fun. At one point, Brooke, I didn't have a single fireball shot yesterday because I knew I would be like mixing too many things. At one point, Brooke literally Uber Eats more fireball to my apartment. It was so funny. Um, we've got lots here. I'm probably going to put it. I need to get a bar cart. It just it needs to happen. This is trash. I'm waiting till all my dishes are ready to go and then I'm going to do one big dishwasher load these are all the towels I want to wash I also want to wash my robe because I'm stupid and I was cleaning in my robe and I got like fireball on my sleeve so that was fun also when we got back last night I picked up my packages and I got this weighted blanket from Barabee like like an animal bear ABY this is the brand right here this one is the cotton napper and it, I think I forget this is like the forget which weight this is they have different weights um but it really does feel so good like if you're feeling anxious or like hung over i haven't gotten to enjoy it yet but i'm about to you put it on and it just kind of calms you down so i've never had a weighted blanket before and they reached out to me and i was like you know i'd love it and it's gorgeous it goes with my apartment aesthetic very well so yeah there's still lots of cleaning to be done but of course i have my candles lit of course someone left their really cute jacket here i feel like it might have been harper i have to text her that's cute my floor is not sticky anymore i used my swiffer well my shoes are sticky now but not my floor oh this looks so divine i need to get up to today's vlogmas sit on the couch for a little and then i gotta clean more because i'm literally shooting my planner in my apartment. So I wanted to shoot on my couch mainly so that it won't be affected. <laughs> Got to, hopefully my blowout will be fixed. I just showered. I want to shoot a little bit of it here, like me sitting with the planner. Product shots of it, of course. Maybe I should probably um, take the candy canes off, but isn't that so cute? I just love that I did that. And then I also thought it could be fun to like sit here, so I'll have to move things around. But um, my friend Maddie is shooting the photos and she's so good she does like all of our gals on the go merch stuff like she's amazing so i'm not too worried i think it's gonna be fun
All right, I fluffed the couch, put the blanket. I think that'll actually look good in the photos. It's a little bit cloudy out today, but I told her she's gonna bring her flash, so I think we're gonna be good. I'm trying stuff on, I'm about to do my makeup, but I just wanna make sure the outfit I had in my head last night before going to sleep. But like this with jeans, holding the day book, a vibe. I love, love this blazer, and I knew I got it for a reason, and that is, for many reasons, but one, to shoot today. I'm just gonna have to not wear this bra underneath, but all right. Let's start doing our makeup. It's Tobo time. Photographer will be here in under an hour. I feel like I, we're gonna shoot it so fast and I actually just pulled on um, Pinterest some like, I always look up like creative blah 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 shoot. So I looked up creative planner shoot or you can look up planner photo shoot or planner branding um, just to get like pose inspiration and stuff like that because obviously it's not gonna just be me like you know, I want to make it cool girl vibes. I'm so excited about this planner. Like, I was just staring at it last night. We've been working on it for so long. It's so fun to release a post-grad planner. But you can still use it if you're in college. You guys will see. But I kind of want to wear this, like, Free People Loungewear set, honestly, for some of the photos. Like, I just think it's a vibe. Um, because it's a black book this time. Last time it was like a bright yellow, which was very like college Danielle. But we're bumping it up, baby. My face is just feeling a little extra dry. Um, I really just want Kelly to come do my makeup right now. She's so good. Oh, there's like a little oil left. This stuff is amazing. The Ella Lou's Beauty Oil from Kelly. A tip was to mix that with the Road Peptide Cream. And it, cre it creates this like velvety finish on your face. I kind of, I kind of want to go get a pedicure today. I think that would be a nice Sunday activity. I really don't feel like working out. I actually, I'm gonna go to Pilates in the morning. I'm gonna go to New York Pilates. Um, by myself. I just booked that for myself. So I think that'll be lovely. Um, I'm just gonna take today to chill. I also realized that there are two new episodes of Sex Lives of College Girls that I didn't watch on, they came out on Thursday because I was out and about and then the live show was Friday and I just like didn't even like watch TV. I was just like listening to music like it's game day or something. Um, and then White Lotus comes out tonight at 9, so I have lots of fabulous television that I can watch. So, really thrilled about that. I want to go stop by my friend's apartment, because Caitlin's staying with them this weekend instead of staying with me. They were like, she always stays with you. I was like, that is so fair. Um, so I want to go say goodbye to her before her flight. Her flight's like later today. So we'll see. This photo shoot should really only take like an hour and a half. Um, I'm excited. I'm really, really, really excited. I'm just going to play good music and me and Maddie will just get after it. Her Instagram is Madison Lane Photo, and she's just so good. Like she is just so good. So talented. So quick. Her and Alex both. They're like my favorite photographers here in New York because... They just know how to do it, baby. They just know how to do it. I'm not really sharing my products because in one of my vlogmases, I did an in-depth everyday makeup routine, so you guys can go check that out. But I will link down below my folder with all of my products I use. But the Giorgio Armani Foundation is amazing. I met some of you guys at the meet and greet, obviously, on Friday, and this girl was like, I bought the foundation you guys love, and I was like, oh my god. I was like, I hope you like it. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want my beauty blender, which is just not smart, Danielle. Not smart. I'm just so lazy. I'm so lazy sometimes. All right, I need to focus on my makeup because I'm realizing this is like for photos. This is not just like, these are photos that are gonna be on the website and everything. So let me, Um, I might even put on some eyeliner. Okay, makeup is done. I feel like this is good photo makeup. I did my best. I used some brown eyeshadows liner and I did like a bottom line. <laughs> the bottom line is a little bottom liner, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, it's such a vibe in here. I love the sound. This is so weird, but I just love the sound of like dishwasher laundry going on the Sunday. It's just a very 
pleasing sound. It makes me happy. Um, now we gotta hope that my hair is gonna last. This is my hair from the live show. I'm really counting on them to be able to take my Dyson Air up and blow it out. Oh, also, as this vlog is up, today was the um, end of my Dyson Airwrap giveaway, so if you won, I would, I will or would have already followed you on TikTok and DM'd you, so thank you guys all for entering that giveaway, there will be more. Okay, I think hair is pretty much salvaged, it felt like so silly to wash my hair and like do it again, because it's still got like some bounce. Those rollers from Friday really stayed, really stayed in. I'm happy with my makeup. Okay. I'm going to put in some hoop earrings. I think I'm going to put on some fuzzy socks and then this will be like the first look. Chilling. Should I button it one more maybe? Um, Chilling with my planner. Oh, I guess I need to, ooh, I need to find like a non-branded pen <laughs> that I can um hold. Wow, I didn't think of that. Oh, I have like this silver pen. I don't even know if it works. We'll find out. I'm also trying to decide for like props. I can make a cup of coffee. I'm trying to decide which mug. They all would look good for different reasons. Obviously GOTG, but then this one would look really cute. But then I love how this one's clear so you can see the coffee. Decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna go for these earrings today. All right, Maddie's here. So excited, testing the light. Adding a ring light for just some spatial light around. I'm so excited. Maddie just left. This was so aesthetic for the shot. I made like a little cup of black coffee. I am like so obsessed with how the photos turned out. So she's actually going to send me them tonight, which will be really nice. We can go through them and then hopefully we can get it, this launched like this week. I, I mean, I think we are. So definitely stay tuned on my Instagram and I'll be talking about it in the vlogs as well as soon as I know. But this planner is so amazing. Like, I haven't started using it yet because I wanted it to be blank, like for the vlog uh, or for the photos. <laughs> but um, there is an example page. I, I just like, I can't. I'm going to do like a more full in depth once we like have a better understanding of like timing and stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to like do an in depth of the planner, how I use it, and everything like that. So I'm so excited. And now I just get to enjoy the day. I'm so happy that, not that I got it over with, but you know, I was out yesterday. And so. I had to clean and everything and get myself ready, but I'm really, really happy I did because I think the photos were great and it's just the best vibes in here now because I really cleaned my apartment because I was taking photos. Um, so I'm so thankful. It's just one of those moments. And oh my God, Colby just sent Brooke and I this video of like right before Brooke and I ran on stage and like just hearing everyone in the audience at the live show, just hearing everyone in the audience like, oh my God, whoa, like about like the surprise we have in the beginning of the show literally gave me the goosebumps. I was like, that's so cool to see what it's like being in the audience. Like everyone was just so engaged and like, oh my God, I just cannot wait to do the show again on Saturday. Oh my God, and my family's gonna be here. I just can't get over it. Oh, right, what I'm doing right now. So I don't wanna like take all this makeup off, but you know when you're like meeting up with friends and you like, kn I know the vibes are like hungover sweatpants, but I don't wanna take off my makeup, but I know they're gonna be like, Danielle, really? <laughs> I might just like take off the earrings and like put on a sweat set, but like keep the makeup on because I just don't want to take it off, you know? Might as well. People are gonna have to look at me, might as well keep it on. Um, but my friend Caitlin, like I said, is about to oh my god, someone's in a Santa outfit. Walk of not walk of shame, walk of Holly. I don't know. <laughs> Love that for her. Um <laughs> Caitlin's gonna leave for the airport and she's like, Do you wanna just meet up and get food? I was like, that's perfect, I'm already ready. So I'm just waiting on their call and where, where we're gonna meet and we're gonna just do a little catch-up of the weekend. I'm so excited They came to my party yesterday, which was awesome, but you know, there's like other people here Um, and Caitlin, not like none of my friends are going back to Tampa for Christmas this year except for me and Mary Steven So I'm like now we have to hang out Let's I'm gonna change though. I'm in this like free people jumpsuit, but I'm gonna change Okay, I changed into this just black sweater set from show me your movie. Show me your movie is just crushing it right now The outfit I wore yesterday was show me your movie as well. Gonna take a ginger shot before we head out. Um, this jacket is from Aritzia, it's a long one. It's perfect because it's kind of raining outside so I can do this, but it's warm too. We, I think we decided we're going to a place called Rowie's, which I've actually never been to, I think it's Italian, so I'm not mad about that. 
Um, I'm gonna take a little ginger shot before we head out. Cheers. <laughs> that feels great. I kind of feel like going rogue and not wearing a purse and just putting my wallet and like lip balm in my pockets. Like I'm not gonna take off the jacket. Well, I'll take off the jacket at the restaurant, but I feel like that's kind of a move so that I can be hands-free. It's always nice when you can do that. All right, let's go. Just got back, it was so nice. We're trying to convince Caitlin to move to New York City, so fingers crossed. Um, I just got back and I have a package from MEJ. They had a pop-up um, I wasn't able to go to, so they gifted me some things. They have the best claw clips, so I got this one. It's like a cool chrome one. This one is so cute, it's clear, but it's a heart. Obsessed, and then I did not know that they have earmuffs. And I was wanting a pair of black earmuffs. Oh my gosh, this is so cute with the blonde hair, I feel like. I'm also doing something very festive tomorrow, so get hyped, so maybe I'll wear these tomorrow. I'm so excited, so thank you, MEJ. Rowie's was such a vibe. It's an extension, I think, of Rosemary's, but it's like a maybe a little bit more casual. I don't know, the pizza was so good. I brought some home to eat later, and they were playing Christmas music. It was so cozy in there. And they were playing Last Christmas by Wham. Fun fact, that's like my favorite Christmas song, I would say. So I've been just like listening to it on repeat since I got back. But I'm just gonna resume doing laundry. I have like my towels in the dryer, but I didn't have time to put more stuff in the wash. I wanna wash my sheets. I have clothes all over my bed right now from like the shoot earlier. I'm gonna relight the candles. I already put on the U-log, don't you worry. Um, what I really wanna do is there's so much content. White Lotus comes out tonight at 9 p.m. and Sex Lives of College Girls. I did. I don't know if I already said this in the vlog, but I have so much of that to catch up on as well. And I need to get some more holiday shopping, like online shopping done. That's what's up. I'm so cozy. I just did my planner for the day. I used my new one. And um, I'm just kind of like figuring out what my priorities are. And I'm just sitting here. I love having the Yule log on. Like the sounds of the crackling fireplace hits different. <sighs> I just love my apartment. It's truly my happy place. And when candles are going, I get so excited. But I do need to get up and do more laundry. Put my sheets in. <sighs> I need to do it. I need to do it. It's happening. We're doing it now. Oh, I'm wearing my um, don't text socks, by the way. filling up the water tank that goes in my Dyson fan because this also is a humidifier and I never saw myself to be someone to use a humidifier I don't know I've just like never used one and my dad was like wait your new fan like you should use it because I've had like these sinus pressure headaches um, and I think it's really helped you just have to make sure to put your humidifier it doesn't have to be this Dyson one you just have to put your humidifier in some like a smaller space and like I try to keep the door closed when I have the humidifier going um, so that you know it actually humidifies so when I go to bed at night I have the humidity going and uh, I put it at 70 humidity 70 and I really haven't had any sinus pressure headaches since so I highly suggest checking out Amazon or whatever this is my this is like a fancy one because I also got it to um, be a fan in my room because I just like to sleep in freezing cold. But the humidifier is, I think it's actually working. Also, lol at this, I threw so much in here and in my closet room 
when people were coming yesterday just to have things out of the way and now I have to deal with all of this. So love that for me. I just washed my Barefoot Dreams robe and it's amazing. A lot of people ask me what size I get because mine is super long. I think they come in like numerical sizes. I got a size three um, and it's like nice and long and warm on me. This thing is my life during the winter. Another random home fact or tip, I guess. I got this because my friend Kelly talks about these pillows. Coop Home Goods or Co-op, I'm not sure. I I don't know my neck has been recently hurting after I sleep so I bought this pillow a few weeks ago and I do sleep great on it however I feel like it could use more stuffing and dun, 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 it actually came with this which I think is so perfect for pillows for more oomph add me so you know you can kind of add as you go because usually what I do is I sleep with two pillows but I think that's what was hurting my neck and my back so I got this and it's nice, but it's almost like too little, but it's definitely been like good. I've been sleeping really well with it since I got it, but I kind of want to add more oomph. I don't even know how to do this. Oh wow, I think I literally, oh, there's so many zippers. It's like a box and a box and a box. Cause I don't even have the pillowcase on here. Oh, there it all is. All right, I'm gonna, oh, that's so satisfying feeling. I don't know how much to put in. How do I know? This is so satisfying. More companies should do this. This is genius. I'm like, should I just do it all? I can always do it all. If it's too much, I could take it out. What like material is this? This is way too much fun. I'm just gonna do it all and see. I like, a, I like a thick pillow, not firm, but I do like a thick pillow. And I just zip it right up, that's so easy. Okay, I think that's a lot better. Thank you for coming along that journey with me. Also, here's that Show Me Your Moo Moo set without like my jacket on top. It's so comfy, Brooke has it in leopard, it's adorable. I'm gonna link this below because you guys need this in your life. But yeah, it's adorable. I also just used the rest of my laundry detergent. I always put it out here so I remember to buy more. As you guys all know, Laundress, my favorite laundry detergent, recalled a ton of their products. So for to be safe, I, I use this sometimes anyways. This is the Glamourish wash from the brand Tyler. It's the Diva wash, whatever. It smells so good, it cleans my stuff great. Um, you get it on Amazon. And really, it's just the smell is what I love. It's not the Laundress, but it is great. Honestly, it's probably more potent than some of the Laundress products, I will say. I bought the small one because I bought it when I was, like, still using Laundress. But I was like, I just want to try this again. And uh, here we are. So I need a bigger one because this is my main laundry detergent now. Ugh, I just have clothes on the floor right now, and I... I'm just not in the mood to like do this. I don't have any podcasts to listen to. I need to wait till tomorrow. You know what? No, I have been go, go, go since the live show Friday. I have not really sat and relaxed. I mean, it's all, you know, on me. I've done this to myself, but I'm dying to watch an episode of Sex Lives of College Girls. So why not sit and watch Sex Lives of College Girls? And then maybe then I will have some inspo to hang more things up. But it's just way too much of a vibe in here for me to not sit on that comfy couch corner. Hello from my cozy couch corner. I am just so obsessed. I love it here so much. I could stay here all week. I was surprised I forgot that there's another episode of the new Gossip Girl season as well. So I just have so much content to watch. But I'm also like, if I watch all of this today, I'm not gonna have anything to watch tomorrow. And then the next day and the next day. And I have a pretty chill week coming up, but there's always podcasts that come out on the, during the week that I listen to when I'm doing stuff. And when I watch these shows, I like to be very, like, watching. So I feel like Sunday's a good day for that. And I just turned off the Bucks game because it was horrendous. Maybe it'll turn around, but it was halftime, so I was like, mm. So, yeah, I'm doing, I'm, I, wa I was watching YouTube videos, too. So I was multitasking. Uh, but now I'm about to start the Sex Lives of College Girls. And I'm going to have to put my computer away because otherwise... I'll miss things and I just love this show so much. I hope you're all cozied up as well as you're watching this vlog. It's a cozy Sunday. Just finished both episodes of Sex Lives with College Girls. It is so good. 
And I just love how they show all different types of relationships. Like, it's just so special and such a great show. If you guys don't watch, it's on HBO Max and I really enjoy it. Like, I, I just want everyone to watch it. I'm so sad though, because a follower just DM me and she's like, what's the name of that ramen place you order from? Like, I'm craving that. And I was like, I'm craving that right now. So I went to order and so it's called Marafuku Ramen. It's in the East Village. And it says there's no um, Uber Eats drivers nearby. I'm turning into such Uber Eats person. I actually wanted to cook tonight because that sounded nice, but I don't have any groceries and I don't want to leave my apartment anymore tonight. No pedicure for me. <laughs> I'm just vibing because I really haven't done this um, in the last few days, so I'm not mad about it. So I just ordered ramen, because I was like, now I need ramen from Wagamama, because I've had it before. That's the thing, like I've had some ramen that I don't like because it tastes fishy, because of the seaweed or whatever. So that's why I love Marafuku ramen, because I know what it tastes like, whatever, but since it's in the East Village, it's like too far from my apartment for the drivers, I guess, which is weird. Um, so I got chicken ramen from Wagamama. Wagamama, that's fun to say. And I'm trying the Bang Bang Cauliflower because I recently had a uh, Buffalo Cauliflower and it was so good and I just love anything cauliflower right now. I'm in my cauliflower era, so I'm excited for the Bang Bang Cauliflower. It sounds kind of like similar vibes. Um, so now that I've finished Sex Life with College Girls, I'm gonna now watch, um, I'm gonna now watch the next episode of the new Gossip Girl and then it'll just be about time for White Lotus. Let's do this. I am loving the vibes curated in here right now. Ah! Oh my goodness, am I thrilled. Got my chicken ramen. Oh, here is the Bang Bang cauliflower. I'm so excited to try it. And then, yeah, here's the ramen. It's chicken noodles, spinach, or I don't really know, whatever that is. Egg, and then you add in the broth. And it's, oh my gosh, I'm getting so hungry. I'm so excited. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. I am about to dive in so hard. This is amazing. White Lotus in like 40 minutes. This vlog is all about what content I'm watching today, but I'm here for it. One of my favorite vloggers, Michelle Choi. Her vlogs are such a vibe. She lives in New York City. I love her videos. By the way, this Bang Bang cauliflower is so good. Okay, dinner has been eaten. It was so good. I have like 30 minutes, exactly 30 minutes until White Lotus is live. Not that I have to sit there right at nine. I think I waited till like 9.05 the other day. Um, but I love anything that gives me a time batching opportunity or just when I'm like low key in a rush, I feel like I clean faster. Um, and there's just some things that I would like to get done tonight before the start of the week. One being this, um, yesterday when I was having people over, I just, threw stuff in here and closed the door um also because i was like i don't need to have like my closet open for everyone to see and be like what the heck is she crazy <laughs> my animal dinner closet i love it i'm not crazy but we gotta move this pile of clothes gotta start hanging things up put some things away i also ideally would love to unload my dishwasher wash this and like just clear the sink oh my gosh i need to check on <laughs> The bag of ice, there was like a little bit leftover ice. And my apartment is so cold that it, it like still hasn't melted. I put this in here this morning. Like, well, oh well. And then also ideally, <laughs> I'm saying ideally so I don't put too much pressure on myself. Um, I wanna see if I can get my sheets on my bed before it starts so that um, <clears throat> once it's done, I'll probably be sleepy and just kind of wanna like mosey to bed. So it'd be nice to have my sheets on already. Can't do any more laundry because I ran out of detergent. Sheets are done. It's so funny, like I fully have other sheets, but I'm like, oh, I, these are already dry. And actually, no, they're not. These could go for a little longer, but um, the countdown starts now. Let's start cleaning. Christmas time on high. 
All right, kitchen is done and clean. My bed is made, I have the door closed because of the humidifier. Um, I'm gonna make some hot tea. It's 9.12, so I'm starting a little bit behind, so I'm like, no one better text me any ruiners. But I need to like wind down. I feel like I'm really amped up right now. So I'm gonna make some sleepy time tea, which is like the best hot tea ever. It truly like actually makes me sleepy. And it's so good. This is the brand. Celestial Seasonings Sleepy Time Tea. You heard it here first, or probably you've heard it here before because I talk about it often. A little East Hampton vibe tonight. If anyone has, I wasn't really hungover today because I like drank during the day. I kind of stopped towards like the night, like went to bed at 10, 10 30 last night. But I feel like the next day after drinking, like my heart is like going a little bit faster and I'm just a little bit extra anxious. I feel like a lot of people experience this. So I obviously have my things I do. I've been putting some rescue remedy under my tongue. Um, you know, I'm taking my magnesium, all the things, sleepy time tea. Now I have my weighted blanket. But do you guys have any tips? Also, like, I've heard there's like supplements that you take before you drink and then like when you're about to go to bed or something and it helps with like the next day anxiety. It's not like, for me and mine's not like mental, it's like physical symptoms and it's really annoying. Like I really just don't like it and that's why I don't always like to drink so much because I feel like this but also yesterday was so much fun. And doesn't always happen, but I don't know, today I feel like I'm just a little bit like, you know, it's been a great day, truly. I've been watching so much TV and clearly I've been relaxed enough to watch TV, but hot tea is ready. Please just comment down below any of your remedies for hangovers in that regard. But yeah, I'm gonna go lay, lie, lay under my weighted blanket. I'm just gonna sit here, watch White Lotus, and then hopefully just cuddle right into bed after I'm going to Pilates in the morning actually um because sometimes I find when I work out in the morning I'm less like it's just a better start to the day um especially Pilates I'm doing New York Pilates but yeah that is gonna be the end of today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed this cozy Sunday vlog I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlogmas